Oh, it's not saving. Okay, today I, I, I want to show you what the, what the final product. You've seen me um, preparing the, 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 um, the clay, wedging the clay, preparing it for throwing. You've seen me throw. You've also seen me decorating the pots. And now I'm, uh, you've seen, I've, show, I've done a video, actually what it looks like when it, it has returned from bisking. And now I've glazed them. And, um, and so this is the, the final, this is the finished product. So um, please bear with me as I try to explain what what I did and and um, why the effect. So this is uh, these are this is a bowl and these are some pots, vases and that I did and I decorated it. I I, I call this my my spring collection. <laughs> I used the um, leaves from the my garden and I imprinted them on the pot in the the um, a greenware and then I carved and painted and then and and this is the result actually and then yeah I painted uh, then I, I I I got the I had them bisked and then I glazed them I glazed them um I I glazed the the actual um, um, imprint with clear and then I waxed, applied wax, a re wax resist. And then after it was dry, then I applied a white glaze over the entire pot. And so this is the effect. I hope you can see it. I think there is quite interesting, different from what I expected. The colors to be i've done this before and it's always different <laughs> when i get it you know i've used the same effect same method but the effect is always different when you see the interaction of the glaze at this time i glaze it white on on previous occasion i use other glazes all the other colored glazes but this time i used the white and very interesting i hope you 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 like it and that i hope you can see the the that's the bottom of the, the side of the bowl. I just turn this around a bit. Yeah. So those are the leaves and then and then these are the, the these plants that I imprinted on the pots. Okay, so those are they there. And here here are some of those that I did the slip trailing and then I glazed it with um celadon. So that's that pot and the inside. This one is this the, the this this is very interesting. Um, this is one in which I carved in the the pattern, and then I I I covered it um, the, with glaze with um I'm sorry, C covered it with a blue slip, and then I glazed it. I uh, actually glazed it with celadon, and I I like it very much. I hope you do too. It was a very interesting the effect. So on this side, I, I glazed it in blue. On this side, I glazed it in red slip. And so that's the result. Yeah, this is another one that I did slip trailing. That's the inside. Okay. This is, uh, uh, this one I glazed with, um, what is it? Oh my goodness. Um, rutile, rutile glaze, and I, I I like the effect. This also is a combination of of celadon and uh, 
I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I can't tell you the name of the other glaze on top. Because I did it some time ago. But anyways, these are all Rutil, these pots. And I like the effect of that Rutil glaze. Here I had it some white on top, which I, I thought was interesting. I'm sorry. Okay. This is uh, a little pot. And I use the slip trailing and glaze it with celadon. Okay, over here. These are some, I, I call them le the, uh, soap, leaf, leafy soap dishes. And I glazed it, it's a red clay. I glazed it with white. I, I, it didn't turn out the way I want, I thought because I wanted the, the, the effect of the leaves, the, the veins in the leaves to show up, but it really didn't. I think maybe I, I needed to add more um, stain. I stained the, 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 the veins, but it didn't show up. But the next time. And this is a slip trailing. And that's the result. And with Celadon, another one, different design. And this is um, Rutil glaze, this little pot. And uh, here's another slip trailing. I think it's beautiful. And then um, Rutil on that pot. Okay, so that's it for this. This is, uh, as I said, the final product after bisking process of decorating, throwing, decorating, um, no, throwing, bisking, decorating, <laughs> and then um, firing, and this is the end product. The end product is always surprising and exciting. just to see what the result of of the hard work. <laughs> but it's so rewarding to see the result of end up with beautiful pots. I hope you agree. I'm very pleased with that. They're for sale if you'd like. Please get in touch with me. <laughs> Thank you very much.